Today we're talking about how long term mayor of Seat Pleasant Eugene Grant announced he was leaving office by tweet. He let everyone know the big change by writing his name in office has ended and that it was a great pleasure serving the people, period. The city actually forced him out of office because of three unexcused absences at city council meetings. Grant declined to share why he missed the meetings, but he did say it was not intentional. We wanted a fresh perspective on this, so I brought in Nathan Luff and Natalie McGill. Here's part of that conversation. What's your reaction to the mayor going out like this? I'll start with you, Nathan. Well, it's uh, it's an incredible rule, I feel like. And it's it's wild that they have it at like the city level of like a town that small, because I feel like, you know, say what you want, whatever we think. But like we like Donald Trump would have been gone in like two weeks if they had a rule for the U.S. government. They would have been like, sir, you have to go to the meetings. And he'd be like, I don't want the job anymore. It's too much trouble. Just take it. Give it to someone else. Like, this is amazing. Like, let's do it to Congress. There'd be so many openings. You talk about gerrymandering and everything. We can fix that in an instant. You have to go to the meetings. I also um, saw he has gotten into trouble. He's kind of had erratic behavior. He's gotten in trouble before for fostering a hostile work environment. And I thought it was somewhat brilliant in a way because you can't really have a hostile work environment if you never show up to work. Okay. <laughs> So that was just his way of bettering the work environment. There you go. I see you working. Yeah. Also, not good enough for seat pleasant mayor, good enough for president of the United States. Mm -hmm. That is that is where we're at right now. Natalie? I'm I'm also surprised he had three absences and no excuses for any of them, like not one but three. And you know, if I'm working at Wendy's and I don't show up for one day, I'm probably not going to have a job at Wendy's the next day. So I don't know what he was thinking, but, <laughs> but this story is very interesting to me uh, for a particular reason, because I used to actually cover this city as a reporter, like many, many moons ago. <laughs> and I want to know like what's going on for real, because this is someone who's usually like quick to defend himself and his honor. Like if he thinks he's being threatened or he thinks he's being wrong. And so his, the Twitter post was like really surprising to me where he was like, oh, it looks like my time as mayor has like come to an end, peace, basically, I'm paraphrasing it. And I was like, really? Because a couple years ago, you were so adamant that you'd keep your position after the council booted you for being rude to employees that you set up a tent outside of the city hall <laughs> and you called yourself the mobile bear which sounds like a plot line from parks and rec it doesn't sound like like something like a real person would do but yeah. like he did that i do feel like absences are easy to get excused as long as a crime isn't being committed via whatever your excuse is for the for the absence so clearly there's a lot not being said there's a lot yeah. unspoken here all I need is that photo of Eugene Grant just sitting there with the hand on the one arm right in front of the tent. If somebody can make that happen, I would love it. You guys can catch Natalie tonight at the Red Bear Brewing for the Double Eek Comedy Show at 7.30, so you can run right after open mic. And you can catch Nathan at Classified Comedy DC on November 20th at Chaos on F Art Gallery.